Hello friends, this is my new workflow to combine the in-painting power with a sketch scribble control net. It's very powerful and now you can't do that in Photoshop or in Midjourney or in Firefly because they are not able to merge the power of the in-painting and also the hand drawing or a sketch input. Okay, let me show you the workflow. You can see all the levels and all the nodes, and I will explain everything to you until the end of the video. At first, I use the new version of the realistic vision in painting version, and you can download that from. Uh, see with AI, I will place the link in the description. I prefer to work with the no VAE and I prefer to load the VAE manually. I use this version and also there are some new updates about the realistic vision and they suggested a negative embedding with the name of unrealistic dream in your negative prompts and also for uh, upscaling now they are suggesting 4x ultra sharp but uh, now i didn't use that but i used the unrealistic dream and it's all and here is the unrealistic dream you should click here and after that download and place the unrealistic model, unrealistic dream in your models folder in the here. Let me show you in the embedding. Okay, this is the file unrealistic dream. And in Comfy UI, when you want to use the embedding, you have to select all the name also including the extension for example here extension is dot pt it's very important to copy all of them it was a trick and note and also it was very important and here you can see that i have placed the unrealistic dream dot pt in my negative prompts and I and in my positive prompts, just I write modern building, red, and aluminium. And if you look to the glass, it's the width of the glass is only about um, it's it's very low, okay. And I'm doing that with this way. You have to select a word after that. Press the control and arrow up or down if you press arrow down with control the width of that prompt will be go down and if you press control arrow up the width will be increase okay it's all and for the glass i did that uh here i load my hand drawing and i sent that to the control net and also the control net model is a scribble for processing the sketch it's working very very good here is my main image and this is the mask area for the in painting and this is the result so now and it's very important this time i use the vae encode for in painting it's very important to use this one and scheduler name and also the scheduler RDPM plus plus 2M SD and the Keras. So I'm pressing the Q and you can see it's trying to use my hand drawing. It want to keep the form of my hand drawing and also it is looking to my sketch 
and it's trying to inpaint my hand drawing inside the photo and you can see that it catch the light direction shadows and everything and it's perfect really it's perfect and in architectural design it's very very useful it's very very useful and powerful and now it's very better than photoshop mid journey or other things because you can use your sketch and it's very important okay uh one time i want to create all of these notes from zero okay so let me clear that and press load default okay here we have the default work follow i am selecting the realistic vision in painting and also i need the vae vae loader and i'm using this vae this is my sampler this is my positive and negative prompt this is my latent i don't need that and also i have to connect my vae to vae encode uh, instead of connecting directly the vae to vae encode sometimes it's better to add that to a reroute and after that add the reroute to the vae so with this trick your wirings will be more clean in the screen <laughs> if you like uh, and now i have to write my prompts i have them here and i want to copy paste raw photo modern building red glass aluminium and also for the negative prompts i have them and i pasted them only the important part is about the embedding and in your embed and in your negative prompt if you write this the file name in the embedding with the extension then confi ui will use that now i want to load the control net okay so here i'm writing control net loader from here i prefer to work with scribble and it should be connected to the control net apply the control net apply need input for conditioning and also the output of the conditioning should go to the positive prompt and it need an image so i should load the image and for the control net i want to pause that and after that i will come with it uh, now i have to load the latent image for in painting okay image load image and this is the image that i want to work with that and the image should go to the latent but with a vae for in painting so vae encode for in painting you should use that the image go to the pixel and the latent now can connect to the image also the vae for encode for in painting need vae input and it also it need a mask okay so from from this step i want to create and draw my hand drawing and also i want to create the mask okay here i am pressing the right click and press copy clip space and in my toolbar on the clip space 
press mask editor now you can start your drawing at first I am suggesting to draw your sketch for the form of the building that you are looking for and for example this time I want a building something like this go to the ground come here okay and with some lower thickness i want to add some lines mm -hmm. okay press the save and close that now in load image right click and press paste clip a space okay so your drawing now is coming here okay we have that again press and copy that copy clip space mask editor this time with some higher thickness try to fill inside your drawing and also it's a little will go over outer lines no problem it's very normal I have that save close image load image right click and uh, right click and paste clip space in image you have two different node image and mask this time you should connect the mask to the mask for in painting and now i have to send my drawing to the scribble but also this time i need the information that are stored in the mask channel so i'm pressing on the mask and select the mask to image it will convert the mask data to image and after that i can connect that to the control net okay so without convert mask to image you can't use that it's not possible and also select your sampler and adjust your scheduler and about the step and cfg everything is normal and for the mask for the grow mask uh, i prefer to go with 64 because this image is in high resolution and press q okay process is a start mm -hmm. okay we have that mm -hmm. you can see that completely it is trying to use my drawing so if i do the drawing in high quality absolutely the result will be more interesting and also now it's interesting yes because it sits over the building very very clear and nice uh, okay one more t uh, trick that every time i'm using is working with a strange of the control net and this time i want to use with lower strength because it should be able to change my line and also my lines are not drawn accurately and with lowering that i am sure the result could be more interesting
Yes. Mm -hmm. We have that. And now in my prompt, just let me increase the glass width and with Q quant one more time. Really, really, these algorithms are very, very powerful. Oh. <laughs> we have a great result. And this time, instead of red glass and aluminium, let me write wood material. see how it can do that with wood again it's interesting and you can do many many other tests on your computer and you can see it's very powerful okay now you know everything about this workflow and also if you go to my patreon page you can see the ready workflow files and all of my posts are included with project data you can download them and you can use them and if you support my uh, patron and if you join to that you can ask your questions and also i'm available to help you over video call and also your support will be help me to continue this way and do more <laughs> explore in the ai world uh, I want to show you some more sample from this workflow. For example, here I did a small funny drawing over this building. And this is my painting in painting area. And this is my prompt, modern building, all finished. And I want to press Q. Once that I am pressing Q, it's trying to process my request. Here you can see the result. It's trying to get the information from image. The informations are about the building style light and shadow direction and many other things ah okay and here you can see that it decided to continue the molding design on my sketch <laughs> and the shadow and also the lighting are very and uh, this is the final image also they are very similar to the main image but based on my drawing and be sure if you do a drawing in high quality the result will be amazing and one more sample is looking to here this is this is my main image and I decided to add a bridge from this point to this point. This is my in-painting area. 
and this is form of the bridge and let's cube out mm -hmm. okay you can see that it try to catch the lighting and shadow information from the image and you can see the lighting ah okay this is the final image lighting on the bridge for example this side is very darker because it's very clear that we don't have any light source on the left area uh, i like that i like that and you can use this workflow in many many different situations and please share them with me and i will be happy uh, to see your works <laughs> okay great uh, until the next video see you bye